Today, we're gonna use acrylic paint to transfer a photo to glass. So yeah, it's gonna be another fun video. You can see the glass. If you've seen my videos before, we transfer to glass using gel medium. And we also did some solvent transfer with oil and acetone. But today, since we're using paint, we're going to get a completely different look and outcome. Obviously, it's going to be more colorful. Okay, let's start. Let's see how it works. For this process to work, you need to use glass paint or paint that works on glass. If you don't, this is what's going to happen. The paint simply won't stick to the glass and will peel off very easily. This is what happens if you don't use glass paint. You can purchase commercial glass paint or make your own. So first, let's see the type of glass paints you can actually use. There are acrylic paints that are sold as glass paints, so it will be advertised on the label. You can also use acrylic enamel paints, which are basically the same as glass paints and are sold in most art and craft store and also online. They are somewhat inexpensive and work perfectly fine for image transfer on glass. Also look for paints that say multi-surface. Most of them work also on glass. Read the label on the back, it will tell you if it's suitable for glass. But if you want to use your favorite acrylic paints that are not meant for glass, you can turn them into glass paint by adding glass medium. The main problem with this product is that it's somewhat expensive and you also need to use a lot of it to turn your paint into glass paint. It does work better than the store-bought glass paint. It adheres and sticks better to the glass. Also, because you can use heavy body acrylic paint with it, you have paint which is more vivid and pigmented. But like I've mentioned, it's on the expensive side. What I love about this process is that it's versatile and it works with both inkjet and laser printers. And it also works with black and white or color images. I'm going to use a black and white laser photo. You can buy glass paint at the hardware store or online. But you can also pop it out of a nice frame that you already have. Got it. And I didn't break it. Oh, so sweet. Maybe I should transfer this photo. It's so sweet. Before starting, make sure your glass is clean. Spread a good amount of the glass paint on the glass. It's better to have too much paint than too little. The paint will bond to the glass and the toner or ink will bond to the paint. Well, at least that's the idea. So it's good to have a lot of paint. Next, I place my photo face down onto the wet paint and make sure it's bonding well with the paint. I like to use the handle of my scissors to press the photo down. And the next step, which is very important, is to place the glass and the transfer in the oven and bake it for 30 minutes. Baking it will cure the paint and make it stick to the glass. But if you're transferring to glass that for some reason cannot be placed in an oven, maybe it's too big or it's not portable, then you can wait for two weeks for the paint to cure. After 30 minutes in the oven, I take the glass out of the oven and let it completely cool down before the next step. 
And if you like this process, you're going to love my book, the Mixed Media Photography Book. Check it out, it's on Amazon. And there's also an ebook version. Check out below this video for the links. Now I place the transfer in a tray of water for 15 minutes. If you're using an inkjet print, avoid this step and simply apply water to the back of the transfer, but don't soak it. After 15 minutes, I take it out the water and wipe a little with a paper towel. And I begin removing the top paper. Of course, I'm being careful to not remove the image itself, just the paper on the back. And you need to especially be gentle if you're using an inkjet print. And now I leave it and let it dry for a few minutes. I wet the back again and continue removing the paper. I like to use the soft side of a sponge to remove the rest of the paper. And for the final step, I'm going to coat and protect the transfer with a brush on varnish. You can also use a clear acrylic spray, but I like this gloss varnish on the glass. And by the way, if you have any leftover paper, applying the varnish will make it disappear. I think it turned out really nice. So this was a fun process to do and not too difficult. Yeah, especially when you realize you need to use glass paint and not regular paint. Regular paint just spills off. That was my mistake at first. I didn't use glass paint. I didn't understand what's going on. How come the paint doesn't stick to the glass? I wasn't very smart. <laughs> However, I do think I prefer to transfer my photos to glass using gel medium because I like to get a transparent background. And then I like to place something interesting or colorful behind my photo in the background. It makes the photo look like it's a 3D. And you can also always change the background whenever you want and get a different look. I think using a transparent background gives you more options. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> Let me know if you're gonna give this process a try. And I didn't understand why but if you're transferring to glass, but if you're transferring... <laughs> it's also an ebook version, so check out the... So check out the links below this video for... <laughs> Enough with that. This is such a great book. However, I do think I prefer to... <laughs> We like options. We like to have options. <laughs> okay, I'm done and I need coffee. So, bye. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to see more like this, click here. And I'll see you next time.